iOS 18.4 beta 4 is out both to developer beta testers and public beta testers and in this video I'm going to be telling you all the new features and changes that this software update has to offer. Alongside the release of this update we also got beta 4 version of watchOS 11.4, visionOS 2.4, tvOS 18.4, macOS 15.4 and of course iPadOS 15.4 and this is the update we are talking about right now. The updated build number that comes with this version is 22E5232A. The alpha at the end of the build number goes to show that this is a possible final beta that we might see before a release candidate version and is a more stable version compared to the previous ones that I've covered. One of the new changes that this software update adds is visual intelligence to the side action button if you have a supported device and now you can select it and when you press and hold just like this it will trigger the visual intelligence and enable you to do more tasks. Within the iPhone's accessibility settings previously they had added this option that says show banner whenever a back tap animation is triggered but now you can see when you go into that settings and then go into back tap that option is actually no longer available it's been removed when it comes to the app store i'll be happy to let you know that pretty soon we're going to be getting new apple arcade games that are going to be available on your iphone across other devices such as the ipad and mac os within settings under the notifications tab there's now a new pop-up screens when you try and enable summarize notification and it looks something like this also there's a fix when it comes to prioritize notification where before this wasn't working and now that has been patched up within the apple news under news plus they've now added a new food section and previously this was existing but there's now some font and wording changes under the settings of privacy and security when you go to location services the improved location accuracy has been fixed before you would turn this on and when you exit the menu and come back this would actually have turned itself off and that has been patched if you are experiencing an issue where you couldn't see all your notifications and scroll all the way to the end i'll be happy to let you know that that issue has been resolved there's a slight improvement within settings when you are searching for different sub menu sections now you'll be able to see the option and that bug has been patched as well there was an issue previously where if one would access the camera from a locked page just like this it would always show up black or blank but that has now been fixed as well performance and battery life feels about average for me at the same time if you're wondering when the next update is going to be coming out the release candidate version is most likely expected on the 24th and then the official release might be on the 30th or the 1st of april as apple has stated those are all the changes that this new software update has to offer if you want to keep up to date follow for more